Well, it doesn't just make noise. Mostly it makes noise. But to understand it, you gotta understand the system. Ready? Here's some education. Here we go. That button, that switch, the one that just makes noise, is located over there, right there in yellow. It is called the GPWS, Ground Proximity Warning System. Here's what it looks like when we zoom in on that panel. Right there, there's a button and a couple switches. It says GPWS, Ground Proximity Warning System. It warns us about the proximity of the ground. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's how it works. The Ground Proximity Warning System, or GIPWIS for short, is kind of like lane assist in your car. It's a situational awareness tool. So you know like when you're not paying attention or you're falling asleep on that five hour drive and the car kind of starts to list into the next lane and then your car beeps at you and maybe your steering wheel even shakes? Same idea, same idea. Came from the airplanes, we did it first, but with mountains. What does that mean? Let me show you. Now, JetWinds has a database, and it knows where all the mountains, the valleys, the obstacles, the antennas, it knows where all of it is. And based upon where you are and how high the plane is, it knows, based upon where you are and how high the plane is, how close you are to that mountain. And if you get too close, it's going to give us a warning. It doesn't like it. It's going to give us a caution, terrain, or whoop, whoop, pull up warning. But that's not all. JetWinds is even smarter than that. JetWinds is tied into another system called the Radar Altimeter. And the radar altimeter is a radar that's pointed downwards towards the ground. As the aircraft's flying along, the radar altimeter is going to send out a ping to the ground from the aircraft dip, 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 to the ground. That ping is going to hit the ground and bounce back up to the airplane, and the aircraft can know exactly how high it is above the terrain. And based upon how high you are, based upon the aircraft configuration, based upon where you are in the world and what you're doing, it will then tell you too low terrain, too low flaps, too low landing gear. It's going to warn us because it is a ground proximity warning system. JetWiz is smart enough to know where you are on the glide path and it's going to let you know if you're below it. So let's say you're flying a runway like that runway over here. There's a glide path in orange. If a plane is on the glide path, JetWiz is happy. JetWiz is going to be quiet like a baby. When the baby's happy, baby don't cry. However, if you come in and you are below the glide path, that's not safe. No bueno. JetWiz is going to say, glide slow. Glide slope, and if we hear that on approach, we're going to conduct a missed approach, go around, set up, and come back and try again. So, why do I say that that button makes noise? For this simple reason. I think you'd agree with me that JIPWIS is a pretty critical safety system to have working on the aircraft. So before every flight, we test every system. So that button tests the JIPWIS system, which means it cycles through all of the callouts. And we will now demonstrate that now. Light slope. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. terrain. So you can see that button makes noise. I hope you found this educational. If you did, give it a like, give it a share. Comment below if you got more questions. Until next time, just ASAP. I'm in an airport. Too low.